the adenosine receptor system is involved in a lot of physiological processes throughout the body in a lot of different cell types. Uh, there are four of them of interest, and actually all four of them are in part of the central nervous system in some capacity, but only three of them are really have been studied in pain conditions. The A3 receptor is one of interest because that one has been uh, studied most extensively in animal models of different types of chronic pain, and then now in some human studies. And so there's been a new uh, molecular entity that's been discovered that binds to a certain site on this receptor, this A3 receptor, to reduce pain, which is very exciting. The adenosine A3 receptor mechanism of action is probably multifactorial. It works in the peripheral nervous system and the central nervous system, that is, in the spinal cord and the brain, to reduce pain. It's thought to essentially be a, perhaps an anti-inflammatory agent as well as an anti-nociceptive agent. So it may be useful in inflammation, inflammatory conditions, in neuropathic pain conditions, and acute pain conditions too. A lot of the data is in what are called preclinical studies or animal studies in conditions like osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and in neuropathic pain. And it's been shown to be effective in all of those chronic pain conditions. In humans, there's been a study on dental pain, so dental extraction that causes sort of mild to moderate, moderate to severe pain. And it's shown to have efficacy in, human, in that human study related to dental pain, and actually over a long period of time, maybe eight hours, 24 hours actually. So it, the potential for this particular A3 modulator drug is that it could reduce a variety of different pain conditions and also last for a long period of time. Actually, something else intriguing about it, based on preclinical studies, is that it doesn't seem to induce that dopamine reward system in the brain that can lead to abuse and addiction, which is a big deal.